Hey guys, it's Carolyn again. Um, this is going to be my monthly wrap up. Uh, I did a middle of the month update because I had read several books at the beginning of the month and I also wanted to show you guys the three, which is very sad, um, three books that I read in January. Um, so this is just going to be very short, kind of my second half of that. And you guys, I'm really ashamed of myself. I have not been good about reading at all. Um, I've tried, but yeah, I don't know. I've just had stuff going on or I've felt like watching TV. It's bad. I really need to just buckle down and start reading some of the books that I want to read, especially because I don't currently have a job. So it's like the best time to do this before I do get a grown-up job and can't read as much. Okay, so the only book that I have read and finished since my mid-month wrap-up, which, um, or my mid-month update, which, if you guys want to know the books that I read in the beginning of the month, um, watch my mid-month update. Okay, um, but that book is Bed of Roses by Nora Roberts. This is the second book in the Bride Quartet, and this was so cute. All right, I'll read you guys the synopsis real quick. Um, since she was a little girl, Emma Grant has always loved romance. So it's really no surprise that she found her calling as a wedding florist. She gets to play with flowers every day and work with her three best friends in the process. She couldn't ask for a better job. And on the surface, Emma's love life seems to be thriving. Slim and sultry, she brings color into every room she enters, just like the arrangements she creates. Men swarm around her, yet she still hasn't found Mr. Wright, and the last place she's looking is right under her nose. But that's just where Jack Cook is. He's been best friends with Parker's brother for years, which makes him practically family. The architect has begun to admit to himself that his feelings for Emma have developed into much more than friendship, and when Emma returns his passion, kiss for blistering kiss, yeah, sorry, that's kind of weird, uh, things start to get complicated at vows. Jack has never been big on commitment. Emma yearns for a lifelong love affair. If the two are to find common ground, they must trust in their history and in their hearts. Um, so yeah, this was the second one. And uh, I think I told you guys before, it's about these four women who own a wedding um, planning agency together. And um, as it says in here, Emma is the florist in the group. Uh, the first one had to do with Mackenzie, and she was the photographer in the group. Um, but yeah, this was really, really cute. I, I actually enjoyed this a little bit better than um, Vision in White because, I don't know, it was just, I guess it's because she was already really good friends with the guy she ended up with, and I kind of like that better than, like, meeting someone and then... Um, like dating and marrying them. I just like the idea of being friends first. But also in the first one, um, she was sort of friends with the guy. I don't know, but it was like they hadn't seen each other in like 10 years or something like that. Um, but yeah, this one was really cute and I really love um, their interaction, like Emma and Jax. It was really cute. And um, also the girls have uh, Parker's brother Delaney is like the protector of the group. And so there's this one part where he gets really mad at Jack when he finds out Emma and Jack are dating. So he, like, punches him. And it's just, it, it's a cute, like, brotherly protector scene. It's very cute. Um, so, yeah, I read this one. And then I started the third one, Savor the Moment, which is about Laurel, who is the third member of the group. Um, and I haven't gotten Happy Ever After yet or Happily Ever After I think it's Happy Ever After, um, which is about the last girl, Parker. Um, but you guys, I'm thinking about getting it. I know it would go against my book buying ban. Um, but I feel like if I'm putting it into the TBR for this year, then it's not really going against my book buying ban. Um, especially because I will read it really quickly. And I mean, once you've read like three books in a series, you can't wait a year or more than that to finish the fourth one. You gotta. Yeah, and these are just, I'm, I've gotten sucked into these. But yeah, so I started this one, and I'm really far. I'm 212 out of, like, 336 pages. Um, and this one's really cute as well. Um, and one thing that I really love about these books 
if I get the fourth one, I'll probably do like a series review. But one thing that I really love about these books is that um, Nora Roberts gives you a hint as to the next one. Like um, she'll have one scene um, between the two people who the next book is about. Like in Vision and White, there was one scene between Emma and Jack where you're like, they'll probably end up together. And then in this one, or no, in Bed of Roses, there's one with Laurel and her guy. And I think same with this one about Happily Ever After, about Parker, who's the fourth girl. Um, so yeah, these are really cute. Um, so yeah, uh, so I've started, finished this, started Savor the Moment, started Madness Underneath, sort of got a little bit farther in Who Done It, which is the anthology one, but not really, as you can tell, that probably didn't shift very much from last time. But yeah, so that's my monthly wrap up, um, kind of a lot of half books. Uh, so, yeah, sorry about that, but, um, I'm gonna do better, I'm gonna do better in March, I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, next is Friday Reads and my March to be read. Okay, thanks for watching, bye guys.